Okay, this is going to give you a review of, of the basics of the Cartesian coordinate system, um, which if you're going, what? Cartesian coordinate system? That is basically the x and y axis, okay, and the four quadrants they make. The quadrants are numbered starting in the upper right-hand corner. This is quadrant one, and they go counterclockwise if you number them. So quadrant two is the upper left-hand corner, quadrant three is in the bottom left-hand corner, and quadrant four is down here in the lower right-hand corner. So they give you a point, and they ask you to identify these different things. The first thing says to identify the quadrant, or the axis, where the point lies. Well, the point negative 4, 2 would tell us to go 4 to the left from the origin and up 2. So notice that would be in quadrant 2. Okay, we've answered A. B says find the point symmetric to the given point about the y-axis. That means you want it to be across the x-axis, so the horizontal axis, the exactly the same distance away. So where this is 2 above the x-axis, we want the symmetric point would be 2 below the x-axis. And that gives us the point negative 4, negative 2. And when you're doing symmetry about the x-axis, what you're going to do is change the sign of the y-coordinate. So you're going to change this was a positive 2 originally, it makes it a negative 2. And it's easy to get mixed up, but when you do about the x-axis, you make the y-coordinate sign the opposite. When you do about the y-axis, and I'll do this point in green, so here's our y-axis, it's the vertical one. We want it to be exactly reflected over that axis. So our given point was 4 to the left. Our symmetric point would be 4 to the right of that axis. So here, at the point 4, 2. And notice my original point, what happened? I changed the sign of the x value. Okay. Finally, the point symmetric about the origin. Now, for the origin, you're going to change the sign of both the x and y coordinate of the point. So about the origin would be the point positive 4, negative 2. Okay, we took our point negative 4, 2. We changed the sign of both the x and the y coordinate there. And let's see where that point would be. It would be down here. And what that does is it reflects it over the origin right there. So see how that's kind of symmetric there. Okay. There's one example. Let's do another. This one's a little different. Um, we're given the point 0, negative 2. So it's on the y-axis, and then down 2. There is our original point. Now first we're asked what quadrant or axis does it lie on. It doesn't lie in any of the quadrants, okay? The quadrants are the open spaces. It li lies on the y-axis. More specifically, it lies on the negative y-axis, okay? Because it's where the negative y-values are located. We want the point symmetric about the x-axis. So again, here is our x-axis. We want to reflect over that. This point is 2 below the x-axis. So reflecting across it would have a point 2 above the x-axis. And again, if you like the whole memorize shortcuts thing, um, if you're doing symmetry about the x-axis, you're just going to change the um, sign of the y-coordinate. Okay, that puts us at 0, 2. Symmetric about the y-axis, which is kind of tricky since the point is on the y-axis. It's just symmetric to itself. So 0, negative 2. And finally, about the origin, for symmetry about the origin, you change the sign of both the x and y value of your original point, which gives us, we had 0, negative 2. We changed that to 0, positive 2. Zero doesn't really have a sign, so you can't change its sign. It just stays a zero. Okay? And here is one last example. Given the point 3, negative 1. So again, they want to know what quadrant it's in, and they want us to list the point symmetric about the x, y, and the origin. Point 3, negative 1 moves us 3 to the right and down 1 from the origin, and there is our point. Okay, 
symmetric about the x-axis. This point currently is one below the x-axis, so we need one above the x-axis, which gives us the point 3, positive 1. Oh, I forgot to say what quadrant it's in. This is in the fourth quadrant, which quadrants are written in Roman numerals. 4 is IV. Sorry about that, I skipped one. Now, about the y-axis, so our original point is 3 to the right of the y-axis. Our reflection, or our symmetric point, would be 3 to the left of the y-axis. So that would be at negative 3, negative 1. And finally, about the origin. You take the original point, change the sign of both the x and y value which was instead of 3, negative 1, would be negative 3, positive 1. Okay, so there you go. That's how you name the quadrant and symmetric about x, y, and the origin.